They're trying to get away from the war, the fights, and after what they saw, we can't really hold that against them. Why was I assigned to this unit? Hey. You rude. Have faith in your team. I know what the captain said, but I hope you're not planning to kill him. I know Boris, he's a great guy. He must just be at the end of his tether. He's fought a lot for abundance. It can't go down this way. to be right on him to actually get that shot in. He's over here. Ooh. That's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Okay, there's something over here. Hello. Oh, okay. Going into fighting, huh? Shocking, <laughs> isn't it? Abundant soldier's uniform. It's this way. Whoa, what are these things? Colonel Victor. The ASC chief? Yeah, sure. He's the head of the intelligence services. They hunt down enemy spies and rebels. But you know that already. Why are you asking? Is this a test? No. Just interested <laughs> in hearing what you think of the guy. This is a test? I don't. I don't think anything about it. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Mm. You've been a soldier a long time. Tell me about the army. Best years of my life, stuck in the worst job on the planet. Sure, it's the best army on Mars, best trained, best equipped, most disciplined, but with guys serving for over 10 years without a single fucking promotion? Hell's the point? Oof. Where's the enticement to be a hero? Well, thanks, another shiny fucking medal. It'll make my casket real pretty one day. No thanks. The officers are either <laughs> legacies who went to the right schools or folks like you who actually went to good schools. Army doesn't care about valor in combat. They care about privilege, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's true sometimes. How do you know about the ASC? Why? You work for them? This is an interrogation? Or... Look, all I know is what everybody else knows. Why are they you so shifty? They protect abundance from enemies and rebels. Is that the right answer? Do I earn my merit badge? David, listen to me. I'm not... 
that's what they all say. <laughs> that's what they you all don't say? Like technomancers, do you? That a surprise, Lieutenant? You go to your little private schools, cut off from the world, then just show up all clean and well fed with your weird ass powers, and poof, just take other officers' positions without earning them. You don't have a damn clue what war is. Never been to the front lines. Let me tell you, I have. Even fought alongside some of your so called masters. Day in and day out, we fought together. And day in and day out, they had more respect for our damn enemies than they ever did for me or us. We ain't nothing to your great officers with their divine abilities, or whatever the fuck they are. We show our respect to you because we know we'd probably be up shit creek in some of these wars without you. We don't have to like your kind, and I don't. It's my damn right. So yeah, no, Lieutenant, sorry. I don't like Technomancers much. What do you know about Anton Rogue? Okay. Headman of the Vori. One of my best friends. I'm sorry. Great guy. Really fantastic. <laughs> How are you asking me shit like this? How would I know? One of the most dangerous fucks on the planet? People say he's everywhere. Knows everything about everybody. Even us simple soldiers who he'd never lower himself to even share a drink with. If you're looking to deal with the guy, watch your ass. Dude's a snake with friends in some very high places. Stay the hell away if you can. Hmm. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, bum. What's the deal with the slums? The slums. Hell, man, that's my home. Grew up there. Ain't easy on the eyes, but. Oh. Yeah, that's hell, why you're so angry. You're a poor kid. Lives there. All the laborers, keepers, craftsmen, and most of the ward too. Makes no one sense. ever gets out of there. Ain't no time or means to make the place better, neither. When something collapses, they send the mutos to half-ass repair it. Over and over. And over again. The high-ups hate the place, but... The truth is... It's where the real forces of abundance and of fear are, you know? Also the home of the rogues. But I ain't gotta tell you that, do I? Lieutenant. I mean... It would help. Alright, let's... Ooh, get some serum from them. There's a box over here, I wonder if that's pickable. Unfortunately, this is beyond uh, my skill level, level three lock. Jesus. There's one over here. There's that one. Oh, level one. Heck yeah. Nice. Let's go. Nice music. So you got me, Mancer. Good for you. How much blood did you spill along the way? You're nothing more than a lackey for abundance. At some point, we've all felt the way you do about abundance. But they just take and take until we're all used up. We are tired and want out. But they send you, another loyal dog, to drag us back. I fought my whole life for them. Today, for once, I'm gonna fight for myself. All right then. Let's do this. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> oh. Dang. Stop! Let me go! 
got him. I am not your enemy. All I want is to live in peace. Please, I'm begging you. Hmm. I should kill I'm you. I'm gonna arrest him. Not like this. So I'm gonna take you in. Cooperate, and the military tribunal might just spare your life. Right. The tribunal knows about as much of mercy I feel like a really the devil good guy knows of would, kindness. Would have let no. him go. I would rather die a free man. I'm gonna be like middle of the road, maybe. Oh, he oh. would rather die. Dang. Captain order. Yeah? Get rid of him? Arrest that man. three was there. Must be an area you can come back to later. Fortunately this is beyond my uh, skill level. Level two. Now I'm back to the exchange. I think I need to go back to the slums though. What is this? Electric arcs, electric weapon, tickomancer training. Do you use gloves? Oh, these are just all inherent abilities that I have. Increases the chance of dodging shots. Yeah. Boris's rifle. Huh. I wonder if that's something I can give to someone. Soldier's uniform. It's higher to defense. Yeah, let's go with it.
<laughs> Walking in like a total badass. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? So. Captain, report? Yes, Lieutenant. Rest assured, potential scandal's been abolished. Everything's in order. We managed to neutralize most. Some, unfortunately, escaped. Then you didn't act quickly enough. It should have been your priority, Lieutenant. Because of your failures, all we can do now is hope that the word doesn't spread. And what was the failure sergeant mean? in charge of the group? That was the sergeant first Boris. thing that I did. He's been arrested. I take it some moral relativism stopped you from killing him? But now, because of it, we're going to have to face an internal investigation. The ASC will interrogate Boris, and even if a scandal's been avoided, our cracks will now be apparent to the powers that be. In spite I thought of you told me not to kill him. Perfect results, go find the quartermaster. He has your pay for this mission. Good. You Moving on. Like Take we him have down, new missions, but don't kill him. Bit of a welcome change from the big chases. We've got state officials arriving in Ophir today, and an ASC warning that an influx of Aurora spies in the city are planning trouble. For security, the officials will be picked up in rovers outside the city and brought to the hangars, rather than coming through the station. We've got brigades tracking the spies, but you're gonna have to usher them through the slums and make sure they get to our quarters safely. No excuses. No failures. We clear? Questions, Lieutenant? Uh, sure. Um, we have rovers. A few of Abundance's most prized relics, dating back to the colonists. Fragile and hard to fix, though, so they're used sparingly. But what we need to travel away from our shadow paths, they're damn near invaluable. They're small, though, so they're not transporting more than a few men. But who knows? You may find need for them on quick and dirty missions in the future. Cool. Who are these I get officials a I'm being sent to babysit? Senior ministers of agronomy evacuated from Greenhope. Some coddled pop star singer, and most importantly, some senior well. officials, including the high judge, the man we can't afford to lose. Whatever you have to coddled do, pop just star make singer. sure you get them to their destination in one piece. What's Aurora have to gain by targeting our officials? Destabilization, humiliation, to show they can strike anywhere at any time, even in the heart of our capital. I don't have a damn clue how they got so deep inside the, the city. But the only thing that's important now murder. is to make sure whatever the hell they're planning is put to an end. The consequences could be disastrous. What do we know about Bolgakov? More than nothing, but not much more. He has a hell of a fine reputation, among terrorists at least. Real upstanding killer. Smart. Not a damn clue what he looks like or where he is. Only way we're gonna find him is to stay on the rebels. The ones who know him. Otherwise, the guy might as well be a ghost. Maybe it's a lady. We'll go try out some of these other quests. As much as I love just doing their thing, I think there's a whole bunch of different storylines. this is beyond my skill level. Enter code. That one's just locked. Oh, there we go. What's that one? Metal components. This one won't even let me search it. I forgot I need to go to the quartermaster. He's gonna give me some money. And then we'll get on to uh, 
going back to the slums. Money. Lieutenant Zachariah Mansur, your reputation precedes you. A promotion well deserved, I hear. I'm Quartermaster Ryan Stewart, in charge of logistics in this barracks. Equipment problems or improvement, or you need to collect your pay, I'm your man. Pleasure, Quartermaster. Sounds good. Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. Nice! A hundred and soldier steel boots. Heard on the street is that the locusts are swarming the underworks. Patrol gonna get it under control before the shit hits the fan? <laughs> Unlikely. High command's about as interested in the slums as they are the underworks. Why try to spit shine a turd? And what's it to you anyway? As it goes, little nuisances have a way of becoming big problems over time. Proliferation. And I'd be willing to pay to nip it in the bud now, before they start to hit our warehouses and personnel, too. Well, you'd have more luck killing oh, them in their nests okay. and hunting them one by one. Or you could booby trap the tunnels and catch the rats while they roam. Your call. Ooh, physical damage reduction. Poison damage reduction. Oh, let's do disruption resistance. Can I help you? Made the traps you suggested. Now they just have to be set to catch the locusts. And I'll make sure they find their way to the tunnels. Keep the filthy things from reaching the surface and poaching our goods. And Lieutenant, thank you for caring. The poorest of us rarely get shown such concern. It's your lucky day. I need a favor, if you have the time, on top of the missions the captain already gave you. Depends on the favor. Soldiers back from the front are barricaded inside the warehouse, but they think Aurora's outside and they're in the middle of a war zone. They terrorize the merchants, but honestly, that's not even the worst of it. According to internal reports, they're not just soldiers. They're test subjects for a new combat drug that increases their strength tenfold. The paranoia is probably a result of the drug, uh -oh. but it makes the situation even more dangerous. I would prefer it if you could reason with them. You could use force, but in their state, the drugs could push them over the edge. A straight-up fight could kill them. First things first, we need to help get them quarantined and away from civilians to prevent further collateral damage. I know you're up to your neck in other responsibilities, but please. This is a favor for me and a favor for the guys. If the ASC handles it instead, I know I'm going to be writing letters of condolences. Don't let it come to that. How's he think a noob who's not even a real soldier will be able to reason with a corporal hopped up on some super drug? Noob. He knows technomancers aren't magicians, right? Pipe down, Lieutenant will find a way. Maybe we just need to find the corporal's family to help talk him down. Look at me, <laughs> I'm just full of ideas. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're a dorky one, huh? At your command, I Lieutenant. I to you. Oh, you're very, um, happy. What can you tell me about our captain? I'm... I'm sorry, Lieutenant? I want you to speak freely. It's just us. Oh, uh, of course, Lieutenant. I just... Uh, the captain's a great lady. A bit strict and not always polite with her orders, but that's nothing to bitch about. Sure, she's got her reasons, and it's for her own good. And, hell, she knows a lot more than what's going on behind the scenes than we do. Hell, she came from a family of officers. She's damn good at her job. Was meant for it. And I'm pretty damn proud to say she's the head of our unit. I I'm just a, a little surprised you're asking me, Lieutenant. Hmm, so he's the other side of the coin. What do you know about Colonel Victor? Colonel Victor Watcher? He's, uh, 
Not someone I met or, or, or want to meet either. Not that I'm... I mean, I know Abundance is overrun with rebels and enemy spies, but... It's just, word is, when it comes to him, best keep your mouth shut. So I prefer to follow that advice, if you don't mind. What can you say about Anton Rogue? Not all that much, I don't think. Head of the Vori's mob, yeah? Heard he's not exactly a good man if you catch my drift. A guy no one in their right mind would want to deal with. And, you know, being a soldier and all, I'm just an honest, hardworking guy, so I have no reason or interest to rub shoulders with him. You know, being a soldier and all. Okay. We'll keep going. Yeah, look at me coming in. Soldier, please let me in. It's imperative I speak to someone in charge. Ma'am, your husband. He's one of the soldiers who returned yesterday. Yes, I'm Corporal Tyrone Ward's wife. So he is back? Why haven't I been permitted to see him? What's wrong? Ma'am, he's safe, but he's scared, paranoid, suffering severe post-traumatic stress. So what I need for you to do is tell me something, anything that might help me convince him to listen before he gets himself killed. Tell him I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting to see him, dying to see him. Tell him about the ribbon he sent me for my hair, and that it's not just me waiting anymore. That he's... we're... going to have a child soon. No. Is that one of the, uh, yeah, one of the test subject soldiers? The super soldiers? Excuse me, soldier. I want to... Freeze! Not another step! That uniform ain't fooling anyone, asshole! What are you? A war spy? Look, I just got back from one hell of a mission, so if my uniform's not up to spec, you'll forgive me. But either tell your superiors I'm back with intel, or explain to them why you kept it from them. Your Said choice. It failed. What? You think I'm an idiot? You're obviously lying. You're dead, you Aurora bastard! He's my favorite crazy soldier. Poison. Low disruptor gun. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Higher damage too. Higher chance of disrupting. Not as high critical hit, but that's because of the um, modification I put on it. Oh. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Ah, level two. Okay, so what's the... What's the whole thing with this? Am I supposed to be able to... Stop these guys, or...? I don't know, I guess I'm already in it.
Clear the area around the hangar. What's this? Rouse the soldiers from their hideout. Ooh, I got new stuff. Um... We'll go with agility again. Increased chance of poisoning. Corporal, let's chat. You wanna chat? Sure, why not? Not like we're at war here. Let's just have a goddamn tea party. Whatever you wanna chat about. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I didn't see your stripes. Your uniform threw me off, sir. My mistake. It's fine, Corporal. Stand down. Listen, Corporal, you're confused. You're scared, and I get that. Not a lot is making sense to you now, but you have to trust me. You're back in Ophir, and your wife, Maya, she's worried about you. Maya? How the hell do you know my wife's name? Did you do something to... Your wife's fine, Corporal. She even told me about that ribbon you sent her. She told you about the ribbon? Yeah, the ribbon. I don't, I don't understand. There was a goddamn war raging out there. I heard it. We were under siege. If we're in Ophir, you're telling me it's under siege? It was. The fighting's done, though. You held the warehouse like men. So just relax and return to your barracks. Rest. And wait for your wife. She has some good news for you. Good news? Of what? The best kind, trust me. The kind that'll be a reason to stay safe. Stay alive. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Men, listen up. Lower your arms. We're heading back to the barracks. On the double. Hell yeah. Doctor's coat. Level three, level one. Gangster's hood? That sounds cool. Civil servant shirt. Plus one science. Huh. Cool, so depending on what you're wearing, you can have better attributes. <laughs> like a ski mask or something. Stop! Almost reminds me of like a... Uh, Bondage mask or something. BDSM Technomancer. Okay, I can go talk to him or I could go back to the slums. Keep doing that stuff.
Mm, there's something right ahead. Oh. Oh. That's cool. Secrets. browse I'm looking for a little information maybe you could help me if it's information regarding my merchandise I'm a fountain of knowledge if it's in regards to anything else I'm afraid I have to offer hmm oh spiked staff that's pretty cool I could buy that Oh, welder's mask, sandproof hood, pilot's helmet. We'll go with the pilot's helmet. Mercenary's jacket. Oh, that's a lot. I'd have to sell some stuff. Sell that. Sell that. Wow, that staff has three upgrades on it. They're only going to give me 25 for that. I wonder if it would be better to recycle that. Hmm, I don't have enough for it. I'll have to worry about that later. I can't take this anymore. Have enough to feed my kids. Good day. Care for some merchandise, officer? I need information. Don't we all? Unfortunately, I'm just a simple merchant who spends her day here selling her goods. You probably knows little of anything that would interest you. Huh. Nobody seems to know anything around here. Ooh. What are the gloves? They must be like unarmed. Oh, a Vori jacket. Care for some merchandise, officer? Lost. 
There's a question mark right here. Bad bet in the arena the curiosities. Why doesn't I have my head if this keeps up? Easier said than done. I know the thrill of a win. Reminds me, did you see the fight the other day? An unarmed man taking on a whole group of guys with knives? Unbelievable. But yeah, no, I missed that one. Must have been one heck of an event. Wish I was there. Hmm, there's an arena. That sounds like fun. Lieutenant, should we maybe get the civilians away from the plaza? It might be safer. Good point. Yeah, let's ask him to move back. Citizens, gotta keep moving. Go! We're going, we're going! <laughs> Dang. I feel like there would, could have been an easier way to do that. Stay back. Keep moving. Screw you! You move! I live here! Listen, take this and get I'll the hell out. Some money. Uh, well, now that you're asking nice. <laughs> some stuff over here. Oh, it's a clinic. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Ooh, a cleaver. Heck yeah. Even better. My boy, I have a favor to ask you. I've lost some. What'd you lose? Uh, I mentioned one thing. Oh, I am sorry. In fact, it's about a friend. Charles? You remember Charles? No, you can't remember him. Silly <laughs> me, you never met him. Anyway, Charles is a friend. A scientist co-worker. He was way more successful than I, I must say. So, he's a friend, and I lost him. It looks like he disappeared, and I am a bit worried. I know that he was doing some sensitive research. Important. Maybe he ran into problems because of that. Anyhow, it's hard to tell. How do you want me to find him? He has an assistant. Very nice. She used to make delicious pastries. Unless I'm mixing her up with someone else. Anyway, he had an assistant. I'm pretty sure of it. Cool. I'll go find her. I'll look she for must know what happened. And if she does, it'll turn out the professor is just at a conference somewhere. And if she Maybe. does... It's true, I don't Turn get out the professor the is just somewhere. It's rather unfair. <laughs> He's got love like a the cocktails. They say. <laughs> like a mix between Jersey and Russian or something. Is a work table? No. Is there one in here? Fortunately, this, this is beyond oh. my skill level. Yeah, there must be a way that I can come back to all of these places or something. I mean, this one in particular is just right here in the slum, so... Imagine I can come back whenever I want. I'll get that level 3 lockpicking. Just you wait. There's something over there. Hey there, I'm looking for Charles Seeker. You know where I could find him? Hmm, and you are? Zachariah Manser. Professor and I have a mutual friend who's worried about him. I know the feeling. I haven't seen him for days. I'm Veronica Seeker, the professor's assistant. I got a message informing me he had taken an impromptu vacation, but it's not like him. He didn't even like to sleep, said it just wasted time. Even more than likely in the <laughs> middle of the research he was doing. 
Yeah, seems a bit off, doesn't it? The professor was supposed to start some research with a friend of mine as well. I'm sure he'd already started work on it before leaving. You know anything about it? Of course. I was involved hey. with the professor's research, though Succeeded. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone without his consent. But with that last name Manser, I suppose this technomancy research is of particular interest to you. Otherwise, most people barely bat an eye towards the scientific aspects of technomancer powers. If you're concerned that the message wasn't really from the professor, did you report his disappearance? To the authorities? Of course not. The authorities, Mr. Manser, have far more pertinent issues than this, which I'm sure will work itself out in time. Now, if you'll excuse me. I don't have very much science or Trust charisma. Me, I get why you're reluctant. I can do to either, talk. I guess. I do. Times like these don't exactly instill openness. But my friend's a very close friend of the professor, and neither of us are the betraying type, you know? To be honest, you look like you got some worries on your mind, too. And I'll use a few more people to confide in. Yeah, I don't know. Hey. Maybe I can tell you some things. I'm afraid the professor's vocal railings against the ASC and their ceaseless power grabs might have finally come back to bite him. He would even preach to his colleagues and the listeners at conferences. I would give anything to be wrong, of course, but hope is oftentimes incongruous with the reality we must come to face. Incongruous? Damn, that's a word. That's one good looking woman. Too bad she's only got eyes for a professor. Poor girls seem so sad. Ah. Lieutenant, why are we investigating the professor's disappearance? The captain never discussed it. It's not our order. I've been working on something that'll help us in the long run. Something really important. I don't know how it's connected to this, but it is. You're gonna have to trust me. Oh, I get it. You just want to solve the...